Welcome! First of all choose a weapon you want to edit. In this tutorial we will use a longsword and change the model and textures. Check the description for all needed tools and the IDs for each weapon or armor. What you want to do is create the same path, folder by folder, like the original files have and overwrite the model and texture. I highly recommend to make a copy of those files you want to replace. Anyway. Open up 3D Studio Max and run the script to import Monster Hunter Rise models. Change the export settings from RE2 to MH Rise for later. Also set up your Noesis and make sure the script uses the 64-bit version of Noesis. Uncheck the FBX option because we won't need it and you will avoid a useless error message. Import the mesh file you want to replace. Afterwards import your model. Best options would be FBX, OBJ, or 3DS. 3DS is not recommended if your model has already smooth normals. Align your model with the original model and size and direction. Important is that you also adjust the grip size if needed. Otherwise your hunter won't hold the weapon properly. Now reset the X form. Right click the X form and click on Collapse All. Add the UV Unwrap modifier. Check the UV if everything looks good and select everything so it will become red. Reset the UV and change the channel from 1 to 2. Click on Move. Add the Skin Wrap modifier. Now select the meshes from the original model that you want to transfer the weights of the bones from. Best to do this is in the schematic view, but you can do it wherever you want. Click on add and change the distance influence to 0,05. Now click on the mesh in the schematic view. For the most weapons you will only need to click on one mesh. Bows and some hammers require you to add more meshes. Wait. All points and convert to skin. Click add an envelope and check vertices below. Now select all vertices of the mesh. We want the mesh to become fully red. Click the wrench in the one in the new window. Now that everything is ready going down to the very bottom to advanced parameters, click remove zero weights and set the bone effect limit from 20 to 8. Add an edit normals modifier. You need to edit this if the model is not smooth yet. In our case it's already smooth. But for this tutorial we will do it anyway. Select all normals by pressing. Ctrl plus A. Click target and change the 4 to a 2. Check threshold. Set the number to 0, 0, 0, 1. And then click selected. And just because I'm so lucky, my 3D Studio Max crashed. Since I am too lazy to make new videos. What are video. you doing here? This is my tutorial. And you have no place in it. Be gone. I just wanted my video. No, get lost. Just wanted to make a video. Yay right. With my tools and my room in my house. Anyway let's continue or whatever. Can't even close the door properly. Where were we anyway? Ah, uh, yes. After you finished editing the normals, make sure to drag the edit normals modifier below the skin modifier, right click edit normals modifier and click on collapse to. Copy the name of the mesh you want its materials from onto your mesh. If it has an incorrect name you will only receive a triangle upon export. Click export and export it onto the same original model that you imported.
ignore that box here. It will only pop up if show FBX options is checked in the script. We don't need it though. Last step for the model is to rename the file name. And now the model is done so far. Nice. It shows the wrong texture in Noesis because we have not edited the textures yet. We will do that now. So copy all text files into the same folder as the R. E. Tool. Drag and drop one. Or all of them into the text batch. Important is that no other DDS, text or PNG or whatever file is in the same folder. Now drag and drop all of them into Photoshop. Make sure the DDS plugin is installed. I am using version 2015. But any should work. I hope. Whenever it asks you to load transparency in alpha channel, check it and continue. FX and mask textures are mostly for effects. If you don't want any, just make them all black. When you save a DDS texture make sure you overwrite the original texture file. Follow these settings. I recommend you make a preset for it, if you are going to use it more often. Now on to the more important ones. For higher resolution you can change the size of the textures to 2048 by 2048. Then paste your texture over it. The alpha channel is the metallic channel and mostly black and white or between of them. Edit it nice and clean. Or dirty. The blue channel seems to be the specular channel. The alpha channel is the roughness. Now drag and drop one or all DDS files in the DDS batch. It will overwrite all text file with the names that belong to each other. Then copy and paste the new text file into the same folder as the model file. Most high resolution textures also are located in the streaming folder which can be found where the weapon folder is located. Make sure to add one and paste the text files in there as well. Test and install the mod now via mod manager which is also in the description and start up your game.
You can also create INI text file to allow adding screenshots and a name as well as a description to your mod. You should check out Fluffy's tutorial for that. Link also in the description. And it works and we're done. Just kidding. It helps if you check in different areas with different lightning to see if you need to tweak the blue channel, roughness or metallic map a bit. Also get rid of the cat and dog since they are demons and will definitely mess with the viewer screenshots. And now we are done, bye. The old fart thought it's over, but it's not. Sometimes exporting the mesh will have some issues like bigger weapons. You can fix that easily by scaling the mesh with the script. The mesh usually scales to 1.5. So what we do is change it to 0.5 and hit X. Scale. If it still isn't enough add another 0.8 after you have already scaled it once. Sometimes the mesh will turn smaller in the viewport and sometimes it won't. It's working regardless. Then test it in game and that's it. Now. We are done. See ya.